They're currently in a reamping session. I have under here a 6420 direct version. I'm only using um, four of the channels, bridge to two channels. And the third pair is only about 80 watts. So I was using on the tweeters. It was a bit weak for the tweeters. Um, sounded right, but just not crisp and biting. And then I plugged one of these, not this one. It's a 2500 LRX. Still an AB, but not quite a VRX standard. And then I used that on the tweeters, just temporarily. And that extra jump from 80 watts a channel to five, uh, 200 ish watts a channel just gave it a much clearer, more defined treble with less distortion. Um, I also have heard the tweeters running off two channels of this one. This is a 4300 bridged. I had the tweeters running off them, and at 4 ohms, it's a roughly around 300 watts per side. And those tweeters sounded amazing. The same tweeters. I've dedicated this one to the mid ranges, which is where a lot of the information is, just to get that extra detail in the mid-range. So I eventually found on eBay another 4300. So I'm going to be sticking 300 watts per side into the tweeters from this guy. I'm yet to finish hooking it up. Uh, this one came advertised with a ding. But we got a few extra dings in transit because the sender did not use enough foam. Bent tab, no, no big deal. So these are the sub amps. There's a two five hundred there, running in mono. You can get around nine hundred watts at two ohms or six hundred, and then if you fake it down to one ohm, which is out of spec, you'd be pushing a bit more, maybe up to about 800. But yeah, I'm probably using half of that. And there's a second one there for the second sub. So both subs are in the same enclosure. Marine ply, 30 mil, or something like that. Maybe 12 mil. And there's the PC. It's a Pentium i7. It's only about a year old. I've had other motherboards in here. An i5. It's got a DC to DC power supply there. Um, which I've had to recap at one time. It just did, didn't work. Recapped it myself. It has uh, Wi-Fi antennas here. Yeah, it's more light. Yeah, so Wi-Fi joins the hotspot at home. I can tune it from another PC. I have an old PC in the shed. Just send it to a 50-inch TV on the shed wall. And tune it from the driver's seat uh, using a Windows remote session. These are the subs in the boot. Um, pass through. I normally have the seats closed just so I get less road noise through the trunk. And you still get enough of the 50 and below sub action. So these sections on the right is the second battery. Um, all the cords get tucked in behind this panel, which sits up there. There's also a inverter here. I just use when I'm traveling, just for other stuff like drone charges and all sorts of things. Uh, there's an amp, 150 amp. Use 
a battery selector so you can set it to off when you're working on it or two for battery two only both batteries or the front battery so you don't flatten your ignition battery I send some cat 5 cable to the front for various LEDs and switching I have a delay timer for the amp turn on so that the sound card has enough time to do any pops and things like that and below this whole panel is the sound card which you cannot see RME Fireface UC um, with balanced outputs and I'm running balanced inputs into these VRX's that's why it sort of went that way <laughs> 